Welcome back to Tech yes City, and I'm today. I'm coming back to you guys to, with a video that was supposed to be a, deca a de catchable, detachable cable mod for any pair of headphones. So, how to turn a normal headphone like this into a, uh, something like this, where you have a gaming headset when you can make it detachable and use it with a V Motor Boom Pro like this. Now, as you guys know, I recently reviewed the V Motor Boom Pro and I was impressed by it. It basically, you know, if you have a detachable point here, you can just turn any uh, headphones, any audio file headphones into a gaming headset. So it was really impressive. Not to mention that the speaker cable itself is also good as well. Uh, it's not gonna, you know, deteriorate any of your audio quality, but let's look now. Uh, I'll be getting this guide done, like it's a thorough guide, I'll be getting it done in the future, I'm going to be modding these and doing a thorough guide for you guys, and you know, I want, you know, because people are like, well there's the Antelon mod mic, and yeah, the Antelon mod mic's are okay, but you've got two cables, so I'd rather you guys, if you could, change this into a detachable cable, and then you can put in a V Motor Boom Pro, or any other, maybe a cheap Chinese alternative when it comes out. Uh, anyway. This is what I found. When I had these, I found a pretty, uh, what would you call it, startling revelation. I had these. These are HD595s. I was originally um, going to do the guide for you guys. I almost had it done. Uh, and then basically when I got it done, the left and the right speakers were confused. And so, you know, I basically, you know, some guy had an image up there and it was wrong on the internet. So I basically looked on a HeadFi forum and people identified the speaker wires. And then when I got it right... Uh, this, this, the headphones just so I must have you know the soldering must have damaged the, some of the wires internally and things just didn't work properly like the right was leaking into the left and it just sounded all crazy but when I pulled the headphones apart this was what I noticed you hear me see this you see me holding this wire here this was like the, the scary thing Sennheiser used the same um, they used the positive and negative wire and they put it in the same wire I mean, yeah, it looks like they're shielding the positive with some red kind of paint or something like that, but where I come from, you know, I'm old, they call me old school, but I like to have my positive and negative wire in separate wire, in separate wiring. And, you know, when I changed this, when I saw this, I was horrified. I was like, damn, I ripped it all out, ripped all the speaker cable out from Sennheiser, um, decided to solder the speakers, you know, solder this new wire, which is like 40 cents. Uh, solder it to the speakers themselves and then run it to a jack and so it looks pretty bad but when I did this it sounded freaking phenomenal these headphones just sounded way more fuller they just sounded rich they sounded good the bass was better the mids were just more rich the highs were there and they were just rich this whole headphone just sounds amazing now once after I did this mod so maybe you guys in the headphone community might want to look into this I don't know but these headphones now sound freaking amazing they're now in the same league as my Fidelio X1s. So that says a lot for this mod. Anyway, that's just enlightening. You know, why does Sennheiser put the same wire in the, you know, put the positive and negative in the same wire? I have no idea. Maybe they just want to cost, now my guess is that they're cost cutting, uh, but you know, it's a cost cut and it's detrimental to your audio performance, in my opinion. Uh, honestly, Lastly, I want to say is, you know, uh, seriously, I would look into getting, if you guys wanted a really good set of headphones and you don't mind getting your head hands dirty, you may wish to go um, and get a pair of uh, HD 518s. And then you can, you know, maybe if you want to rip all the speak wire out, change it over for some good stuff, and then uh, maybe modify the back plate, you'll probably have a head set of headphones that sounds better than a $200 set of HD 598s. Because if you guys didn't know, the HD 518s use the same speakers as the HD 598s. So you have a $70 headphone, if you can mod it properly, sounding better than a $200 headphone from the same manufacturer. Anyway, that's something to look into. It was something that kind of startled me, and these things sound freaking phenomenal now. You know, coupled with this, this is my new gaming headset of choice. And you're probably asking, why would you prefer these over the Fidelio X1s? These just have that uh, sound signature. They've got, these have got that bump in the mids. And so I'll pull up frequency response curve for you here. Um, this is basically, if you're a gamer, you want that bump in the mids. Because that's where all the voices and all the footsteps and all the gunfire is happening. So if you have that boost in the mids, that's um, better for you as a gamer. Also, the sound stage on these headphones. It's really good. After I did this mod, it's pretty much in the same league as the X1s. They both have really good sound stage. So, uh, honestly, you know, I can recommend doing this mod. It's something to look into if you guys are in the headphone community. I was pretty, 
uh, startled by it. I was like, what the hell's going on? But yeah, you know, now these things sound amazing. They look terrible, but they sound amazing now. So anyway, I can recommend this mod. I'll be coming with the detachable cable mod soon or when I get some time. It'll take me a while because I want to do a nice guide for you guys. And pretty much going to make any headphone a, detach a detachable cable, which will allow you to plug in one of these babies. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little video slash semi rant. It wasn't really a rant. I didn't really get angry because these sound amazing now and I only got them for a hundred dollars anyways I'll be coming back with another tech video soon uh, most likely reviewing the Sound Blaster Z uh, which is a mixed bag but anyway we'll get onto that soon anyway peace out for now bye